Hi, this is Mark Pizza Keller, and welcome to Three Minutes with Mark. Um, in Victoria, we're, we are again in lockdown, and I thought, well, I'll spend some of this time to take you through some of the tax measures in the federal budget. I'm going to keep away from social commentary and the economics of it, but three things that I want you to be aware of. The first one is the temporary full expensing extension of depreciating assets. In other words, if you're an eligible business, you can immediately write off uh, the purchase price of eligible depreciating assets. And you can do that now up until the year 2023. Of course, the assets have to have been first used or installed ready for use um, by 30 June 2023. Look, I think this is a, a great extension uh, of by the government in terms of making this more freely available for another 12 months. Um, COVID-19 and in Victoria, we're in the still in the thick of it, um, it will be critical for businesses to be able to continue uh, to know, uh, be safe in the knowledge that, you know, they can invest in capital assets and claim an outright deduction. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the extension of the loss carryback rules. For those of you that, that might recall, the loss carryback rules allow you to make a loss in this year and carry it back to prior years where you've physically paid tax and reclaim that tax. Now, the government has extended that to 2023 again, and you can go back until 2019 to carry back your loss and claim back some of the taxes that you've previously paid. There's obviously conditions around all that, and so just make sure that you abide by those conditions and requirements. Now, I'm a big advocate of this, um, have been a big advocate of the loss carryback rules, uh, even before it was trendy to, to do so. Um, other countries have used it or are using it, including the USA, Canada, uh, and a number of others uh, successfully. So I think this extension is great news. It's much needed support for companies experiencing a delayed downturn from the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and also remember that you can use it in conjunction with the expensing measures that we previously discussed. In other words, you can claim outright your deductions for um, depreciating assets. If that means that you end up in a loss, you can then go back and claim back some of the tax. So look, really important. Last thing I want to talk about is the patent box regime, which is a new initiative. Uh, now, every budget, there's always discussion about R&D, is Australia doing enough, etc. Now, in Australia, despite the R&D concession, um, the ownership of IP has frequently moved offshore. So what the government has done is it's reduced the corporate tax rate in relation to income derived from Australian-owned IP. So I think that's a great initiative, and it's probably been the missing link up until now. However, it is only available for Australian medical and biotechnology innovations. There has been a cry to make this industry agnostic, and I guess, look, subject to budgetary constraints, constraints I should say, I would have to agree with that view. Um, thanks for listening. Um, make sure you're taking advantage of the concessions, and uh, please make sure that you're staying safe. Speak soon.